Welcome back to my channel. I am glad you're here. We're doing a side dish, Italian stream beans. Now, if you search on the internet, everybody uses frozen stream beans, not the Italian way. So I am gonna show you how to make Italian stream beans with fresh stream beans, not canned, not frozen. Not sure why they use it that way, but that's what they do. So the first thing is the ingredients. You need breadcrumbs, Italian seasoning, fresh garlic or garlic powder, and Parmesan cheese. I don't have any fresh garlic on hand, so that's what I'm using. I'm using the garlic powder, but minced garlic would be the best, and we're using fresh stream beans. Not frozen, not canned, fresh. Step one is we're gonna clean the stream beans. Cut off the little ends. So that's what I'm doing first. To stay friends forever We can give this whole town Something to talk about We don't gotta pretend My next step here is I'm going to melt no. some butter I've been about a And we're gonna add the ingredients This frying pan in front We have in a little bit of water With our stream we beans And we're going yeah, to see something. The one thing I just like is when I see the Italian recipes in, on Google, wherever you find them, and they say use canned veggies or frozen veggies. That really isn't the Italian way. Fresh, fresh, maybe fresh canned that they've canned themselves, but not canned or frozen stream beans. No can do, not Italian. To stay friends forever we don't gotta stay friends forever no, no. Keeping a rock so innocent I never thought I'd ever hold your hand But there's something in the sunset Feels different this time There's a feeling, if you feel it Baby, I don't wanna hide We don't gotta stay friends forever As you can see, the breadcrumb mixture is in the frying pan with the stream beans. You just saute it there a little bit. Now I think this stream bean recipe is a staple in Italian cooking. I think a lot of Italian people have their own take on it. And now this is complete. 